Three scientists were awarded this year's Nobel Prize in Medicine for cracking the puzzle of how a cell transports crucial cargo, such as hormones, to the right place at the right time. Here to discuss the significance of this award is Mike Cousin, a cell biologist at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland. Professor Cousin, thank you for joining me. Can you start perhaps by explaining what specifically these three scientists did that makes them worthy of this prize? Well, I think the key thing that they did was that they, they cracked how these cargo that you just talked about are transported around cells in the human body because the cell, cells themselves are incredibly complex. And to do that, what they discovered was how one cargo gets from one place to another with the specificity required for signaling to take place. What's the significance of this work? Well, the, the significance, I guess, mainly is in the f fundamental biology of how cells talk to each other, both within the cell and actually w to each other as well. So at every point of, of this communication, these molecules that they discovered are essential for, for how cells talk to each other. Can you give us a couple of examples in the body as to how this work kind of revealed the way that different cells talk to each other and different parts of the body? Sure. So, um, for example, in hormone release, for example, in, in diabetes, when, when you secrete insulin, um, basically what happens is that these molecules mediate the release of that hormone into the bloodstream. Is uh, there any practical significance to this work that we can see in the world of medicine today or in biology? It, it's just starting, actually. Obviously, the, the medis medicine's lagging behind the biology, but basically what we've found or what's, what the field is discovering is that potential regulation of these molecules that control this vesicle trafficking might end up underlying a number of different neurological conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease or schizophrenia. Uh, finally, can you tell us a little bit about your own work and your own research and how the discoveries of these three scientists had an effect on what you do? Certainly. So basically if what, we, what we do is we look at what happens after neurotransmitter has, has been released and by the discovery of how these molecules mediate transmitter release, we're able to look at how other cells can respond to that. So basically without this initial discovery, we wouldn't be basically doing the research that we are doing now. And we are currently looking at various different downstream consequences, such as Alzheimer's disease and Huntington's disease, for example. Professor Cousin, thank you very much. Appreciate the time. No problem.